My name's Tony Hawkes, I'm an author and a comedian and recently turned filmmaker, having made a film of my first book, Round Island with a Fridge. I live in an area called Merton Park, which is just on the fringes of Wimbledon. And I like living here because it's, um, it's quite green. Uh, it almost has a villagey feel just in the streets as you walk around. You feel like you could be outside London. And yeah, I can walk to Wimbledon Station and be at uh, Waterloo within 15 minutes. So also if I want to escape London, I can get to the A3 quite quickly and get out to the countryside. So it just works perfectly for me in that way. What attracted me to this house was, originally it was the garden. It's got a very mature uh, garden. There'd only been one previous owner and she was a very uh, passionate gardener. Uh, and I love sitting outside. Um, so it got the sun. I, I won't buy a house if it doesn't kind of get the sun. So it has to be kind of southwest facing is the best, which this is. And um, the house itself was very nice inside. I'd done a bit of work on it, but um, it really was that uh, the, the lovely aspect of the garden. I have a reasonably amusing story about selling my last house before I came here. There was an engineering works next door to it that, that brought in a machine that made a bit of noise on a Saturday morning and uh, they weren't supposed to use it then but they did and this was making it difficult to sell and I was thinking of taking it off the market and I was working on a Friday afternoon with a friend of mine, Neil, writing and the estate agent rang up and said could he bring people around on Saturday morning? And instead of just saying to him, no, I don't want to show people around at the moment, I told a little fib and I said, look, I'm, I'm going to Brighton. Um, I won't be here tomorrow. And he said, well, look, drop the keys round and I'll bring people over. So I thought, OK, what I'll do is just pretend I've gone to Brighton and I've forgotten to drop the keys off. So I left it a couple of hours, rang him up and said, I'm in Brighton. I've forgotten to drop the keys off. I thought that was the end of it. But he said, no, pop them in the post. It's still before five o'clock. If you do that, first class post, I'll still have them in the morning. So I was thinking, no, I can't do that now. Um, so then I had a brainwave and I got Neil, the guy I was writing with, to drop the keys round to the estate agent, pretending that he was my neighbour. So he did this, I came back to my house, we continued working. And I thought that was the end of it. But then at six o'clock, the front door opened and I sort of sneaked, sneaked to look through and it was the estate agent bringing people round. And I said to Neil, what are we going to do? And he stupidly he said, shall I hide? Thinking that, you know, he could hide and we could get out of the way. Well, obviously, estate agents, you know, they go everywhere. They, if he found my neighbour in the cupboard, that would look ludicrous. So I had to just sort of just sit there sheepishly as he came in and he said, I thought you were in Brighton. And I kind of came and made some feeble excuse about my car breaking down. He knew I was lying. Then he saw the bloke who ostensibly was my neighbour. It was ludicrous, and all because I told a pathetic fib. I bought a holiday home in France, uh, twofold re reasons. One was I've always loved France, uh, I love the Pyrenees, that's where it is. And then I had this cunning plan of writing a book about living there for a year. It's been done before, but not by me. So I wrote a book called A Piano in the Pyrenees and um, I, yeah, I have this sneaky suspicion that I may end up living there full time one day, maybe in 20 years time. I've just come back from Moldova and I was talking with people there who are pretty surprised by the fact that so many people in Britain own their homes, although they've just themselves started to get onto that bandwagon and they were given their own flats that they used to, the state used to own under communism. 
and there are more and more houses being built. So I think they're catching us up and uh, they understand what it's all about now. I think if money were no object, I'd like to buy something in the southwest of England, Cornwall. Uh, it's so beautiful there. Um, it's so expensive if you really want to buy a big place with lots of land, which I would. But I think if money were no object, I'd buy actually Cornwall off Prince Charles because he doesn't need it. <laughs>